Hello, this is Chetan Narula reporting for Cricket World and uh, my first best off of uh, the new season, the 2017 and 2017-18 season kicks off uh, this week and uh, on Wednesday, that is tomorrow, it's India versus Sri Lanka or rather Sri Lanka versus India in the first test and uh, this, is, this is the location of the first test. Uh, the Gaul International Stadium behind me, it was the same stadium where they played uh, the first test in 2015 as well. India winning that series by 2-1 but they lost the first test after Rangan Aharath uh, took, uh, you know, they just bowled them over on, on a turning track on day 4. India were chasing 176 back then and they were bowled out for 112. They came back, of course, uh, and won the series 2-1. A lot has changed since then. Uh, a lot has stayed the same. Uh, Anil Kumble became the coach in between and unceremoniously dumped after just one year at the helm. And now it's uh, Ravi Shastri who's back again, once again, at the ch in charge of the team in terms of uh, uh, in, with, with, with the added uh, adage of uh, being the coach of the Indian team. Last time around, he was team director. The rest of the support staff stays the same. He's also brought in Bharat Arun as the bowling coach. So, like I said, lots changed. India uh, did not know how to win series back then in 2015. This young bunch of players was just coming up, growing together as, uh, as a team, as a unit. And uh, now they are ranked number one in the world. But they'll have to work really, really hard to maintain that ranking as a long overseas cycle starts once again in the next 18 months they are playing in South Africa, in England, in Australia and it will all culminate with the 2019 ODI World Cup also in England. So a lot, lot of cricket in the next 18-24 months and a lot of it will be played overseas for India in particular. There will be series in home, at home in between for them but you know, all eyes will be on how they perform overseas and uh, how much they have uh, learned from their past experiences and how much they have developed as, as a team, as a unit. Um, the news here for India is uh, that uh, KL Rahul, who's back, uh, he's recovered uh, from a shoulder injury. He's, he's back in the Indian team, but he will be missing in action for this first test here at Gaul because he's down with viral. Uh, and he will not be participating in this first test match. It will be Shikhar Dhawan and uh, Abhinav Mukund who will be opening the innings for India, which is very interesting because Shikhar Dhawan was the first choice opener in West Indies last year and then he was relegated to third choice as the season progressed and dropped for the Australia series. Abhinav Mukund was the third choice opener for, the, for that Australia series. Scored just 16 runs in two innings at the Bangalore test. But now both of them are first choice openers for India at present and they will be playing in this test match. India also have the option of uh, going in with five bowlers. Last time around also they went in with five bowlers in this particular test match, uh, but they did not deploy um, the fifth bowler, that was the spinner, third spinner, Harbhajan Singh, optimally, which is something that Virat Kohli spoke about in the pre-match press conference. This time around though, they might just bring in the all-rounder. Go in with five batsmen, Rudiman Saha, and bring in Hardik Pandya as that element. He can bat uh, a bit as well. He can hit those big shots and he can and he can bowl a bit as well. So, give, you know, covering all bases, perhaps a bet, better solution for India this time around. Much more balanced squad. Ravi Chandran Ashwin and Ravinder Chaleja, of course, uh, they are the, the ranked one and ranked three respectively. Uh, Chaleja number one and Ashwin number three and Rangana Herath is uh, number two. So top three ranked uh, test bowlers will be going at it uh, in this series as well. India expected to pick Mohamed Shami and Umesh Yadav as their two frontline paces for Sri Lanka. Of course, Rangana Herath will be leading the side uh, because uh, their new test skipper, a lot of changes for Sri Lanka as well, their new test skipper Dinesh Chandemal is down with uh, pneumonia. Of course, Angelo Matthews had given up the captaincy after the Sri Lanka ODI, uh, after the Zimbabwe ODI series recently. Uh, and now he is uh, in the side just as a player. Uh, they've also brought back Nuwan Pradeep, who's, who's fit again. He'll be playing a test match for the first time since January 2017. And they have Dhananjay De Silva uh, bolstering their batting lineup in place of uh, Dinesh Chandemal. And uh, Malinda Pushpa Kumara is uh, brought into the squad. 30 year old left arm spinner. He's yet to make his test debut. But what a staggering first class record. He has 558 wickets in 99 tests, uh, in 99 first class matches. And it remains, he is a left arm spinner, but it remains to be seen uh, whether they will go with two left arm spinners. Rangana Herath, of course, one of them. 
will they deploy two left arm spinners? The pitch here at the Gaul International Stadium, a bit different from how it was in 2015. It was dry and took turn from day one. This one looks a bit harder and uh, looks like a better one for batting. But of course, it will take spin as the game will progress. Right, it's the start of a new season. It's the start of a new test series. It's India versus Sri Lanka, or rather, as I said, it's Sri Lanka versus India here at Gaul. And we'll be back with the further updates from this test match and this series.